Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on adding parts from one avatar to another. So to quickly uh, get into this, we will be using the tool Cats, and right now, Blender 3.6 has an issue where if you try to merge armatures, it will crash. So what you have to do is head over to your Steam and go to your Blender, make sure you go to Properties, go to Betas, and you want to downgrade to 3.7 or 3.5. Uh, if you download it via the Blender website, I think they have a version archive you can use, but I'm using Steam at least. So, after you've downgraded and you're now in 3.5, what we're going to do is hit A and X, and this will delete everything. And we are going to import, and we're going to import our FBXs. So for this video, I'm going to be adding the Wickerby stuff to the Hyenid. So I'm going to import the Hyenid as my first avatar. Now I'm going to hit H to hide everything. Now I'm going to head over to import. FBX and I'm going to select my wicker beast now and what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of everything except for what I want to add So for this example, this will be everything but the horns and hair. So I'm going to quickly press tab This will put us in edit mode I'm going to go over here to the materials and I'm going to start selecting stuff So I'm going to go to body select eyes select horns and claws select now You'll see that our two here highlight and these are the ones we want to keep so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift and press S or sorry, shift and press L. And this will, uh, as you can see, unselect these both. And now we're going to want to keep the floof. We're going to go to mouth, select that blush, select that lashes, select that. Now I'm going to press X and vertices, and this will delete everything. Now you can see we're left with some down here What we're going to do side view. We're going to enter this mode here and we're going to shift and highlight these. And then we're going to hit X and vertices again. So next step here will be to remove the bones we don't need. Uh, you can tell if they're bones you need or not by going into pose mode and moving them. And if nothing moves with them, such as like grabbing it like this, that means anything there is useless. So you basically rinse and repeat that. I already know what I'm going to delete. So I'm going to head over. I'm going to make sure I select this hit tab edit mode, and I'm going to start deleting this. So I'm just going to speed up. Okay, so now that I've deleted everything I don't need, as you can see, we're left with all of the stuff we need here. Um, now, one thing you'll notice is if we select this armature and we press S to scale it, it will scale from this point. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to want to change that point. So I'm going to select my hair and horns here. I'm going to press tab. I'm going to press A, and then I'm going to hold shift and S, and I'm going to go to cursor to selected. So this will put it in the middle of everything here. And then I'm going to hit tab again, and I'm going to click on the armature, and I'm going to go up to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. So now, if I were to press S, it will move from that point instead now, which will make scaling and moving a lot easier. So our next step here will be to get our avatar we want to put this on, which is, of course, the hyenid. So I'm going to select our armature here. I'm going to go to the side view, and I'm going to scale. I'm going to press G to grab it. And I'm going to go on the X axis and I'm going to put it like there. Now that looks already really solid and there's just a little bit of hang here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this I'm going to press tab to go in edit mode. And I'm going to press L to select this piece of hair here. And I'm going to go into rotate and I'm just going to rotate it a little and I'm going to move it up a little to right around there. And as you can see, everything looks pretty clean. Now, you can edit other stuff. Um, personally, this hair right here that clips into the ear doesn't look good. So I'm going to press tab. I'm going to press L on that one and this one over here. And then X and delete those. And now, as you can see, overall, this looks pretty all right. Um, you can see there's some hair clipping here. So what I can actually do is I can go into the sculpt mode. And I can kind of just quickly hide the body. I can go into my elastic deform put the radius up a little and make sure that it's mirrored and then just kind of grab this and pull it up and I'm going to show the body I'm going to pull it down now and pull it just a little bit like that there you go so you can also use this for say other parts if you want to like move this up a little or move these down same thing but now as you can see Everything has been sculpted and it looks pretty all right. It looks like it would fit. So next step 
is we're gonna press N. This will pull our, our little N menu here, and we're gonna go to cats, and we're gonna need to use the uh, custom model creation. So I'm going to deselect merge uh, meshes, and I'm going to also just remove all of these. So this will merge these two automatically. So I'm just gonna hit merge armatures here. I'm going to give it a little as it goes through the process of merging them. And now, as you can see, if I show this, uh, and I click on the armature, and I actually go to pose mode, and if I say grab the head, you can see the hair now moves with the head. If I were to say grab the uh, chest, the entire thing moves. So overall, this means that you've already done this very well. And we're going to, uh, personally, I'm just going to merge these two together. And as you can see, this will be uh, some added materials over here. Uh, I'm actually going to control Z that though. But as you can see, you've now successfully added this to your high unit avatar. Now, uh, you would export it like this, but say you want to do, uh, you want to add it through Unity. So you want to export just this. So what we can do is we can select everything else in our project, except for the hair here. We're going to delete it. And of course, we're going to be deleting all the bones again and exporting the only ones that matter. So exact same process as before. I will speed it up. So give me a second. Okay, so now this is basically rigged for the hyena now. So again, I'm just going to um, unhide all these other parts, hide the main hair we just made, and I'm gonna press A and delete it all. And so now we're just left over with the wicker hair and the uh, hyena rig. And you can just go over to file, export, and export FBX, and export this wherever you want. Call it wicker hair for hyenid. And make sure bake animation off. Add leaf bones is off. And I personally like FBX all. And I'm just gonna export that. And basically that's it. You would just do the same process of adding like clothing to your avatar and drag these bones onto where they belong. And you've done it. You've successfully added the wicker beast hair or say any hair from any other model to your hyena. So uh, congratulations, this has been Pinky. If this tutorial helped you, uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. This is a thank you to my patrons, Zachary Taylor, BlueNino1, Logs1234, Suzuki, Split, Tef, Sir Fappingson, Hamu, and the Maple Proto. Thank you very much for your support. I appreciate it very much. What you do helps make videos like these. Um, please have a good rest of your day and thank you so much.